next. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back. The final episode, the grand finale of the Grit in the Pit Summer Edition. I'm your host, Garth Massey. Let's get it started. Welcome to another episode of Grit in the Pit. Everybody, the final week of the Rumble is done. The Rumble is done. You can stop meeting at 6 a.m. You can stop knocking until 10 p.m. You can stop trying to sell all the gas station people. The Rumble week is done. We are done and uh, what a heroic last week. We had in the finals Des Moines versus Kansas City. In third place, we had Omaha, the Bug Sharks, previously Cincinnati, just absolutely take everyone to the cleaners in the consolation rounds. Congratulations, Omaha Bug Sharks. You guys are legends. Second place, the Goliath has fallen. I repeat, Goliath has fallen. Des Moines was bested, but they did an amazing job. Take your 30 grand to the bank. You guys absolutely crushed it. Des Moines, almost an undefeated season. Amazing work, $30,000. I think they're going to Alaska. Enjoy it. And last but not least, the Kansas City Trolls. Absolutely made it happen. Maybe people were slipping on and maybe some people thought they were sleeping. They were not. They woke up, they absolutely crushed it. Congratulations to the 2024 Rumble champions, Kansas City, Bennett Heron, Adam Heron, the Atkinson brothers, everybody on the team, congratulations. Take your $50,000, don't go put it all on black, maybe like Chicago did, take it somewhere. I think they're going to Lake Powell. Get a few houseboats, have a great time. Amazing work, Kansas City, way to get the job done. Moving into a few updates, you guys. This being the finale, this being the final episode of the summer, we're just gonna roll through the final incentives, making sure that everybody going into the fall understands what they need to do. Remember the company trip? You've gotta service 200 if you're a rookie, 250 if you're a vet for that Caribbean cruise. You already know it's Jamaica, you already know it's the Grand Cayman Islands. Get there, get there. Next, we got the GPS. That is just around the corner, less than a month away. Everyone watching this, if you're going, you should have gotten the invite. If you haven't gotten the invite because maybe you fell a little bit short, we'd love to see you next year. We need to see you guys there. Remember, it's 200 accounts as a rookie, 250 as a vet, or a million in your downline. But the GPS this year, again, to stoke the hype, the Fontainebleau, French, I'm, I fluently speak French, it's gonna be the nicest hotel in all of Vegas. You want to be there. You need to be there. So 200, 250, or a million in your downline. Then, of course, the Egypt trip, the big fish trip. Remember, November 17th through the 24th, right before Thanksgiving. That qualification is a million of direct revenue, 500K if you're a, you know, a, a new grit to the grit, or if you're a rookie, or if you're just a new manager, meaning you never did a million in your downline previously, but you did this year. Egypt is going to be the trip of a lifetime. Make sure you're there. Jumping into last week, the majority of all of these reps were coming from obviously Kansas City, obviously Des Moines because they had the most to win and the most to lose this last week. So let's just get right to it. Coming in at number 10 from Omaha, you got Tyson Fotheringham throwing down a 32K piece. Cody Olive, shout out to Cody, just hit his sixth golden door in six years of knocking. Congratulations, Cody. 33,572 out of Houston. Then Kansas City, Tanner Pastor, 33,000. Going up to Gabe Juren out of Columbus. What's new here? 37,000. Zach Kinzel, 38,000. Noah Tolley, 38,000. Corbin Hansen, jumping into that $40,000 spot. Nate Van Dyke, the captain, 42,927. Evan Gould from Orange County with $43,000. Has to have been his biggest week year today. Then, of course, the polar bear himself. Bennett Hayrand coming in at 43,494. And the more majority of that was done from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday during that competition. I think he did 42K in four days. Amazing, amazing job, Bennett. Heading into the rookies, we've got a Des Moines rookie, Tristan Long with 15K. Ridge Whitney out of Denver, 15. Noah Evans from Portland, 16, eight. Uh, Jackson Ludke, 20,000 out of Omaha. Tyson Terry, 21 out of uh, Des Moines. Out of Chicago, Tyler Dodenbeier, Dodenbeier, uh, 22,000. Seattle, Jessica Hack, 25,000. Ryan Winfrey out of Houston, 26. Then of course, the two Des Moines legends, uh, John Harsh coming in at 26,798. Uh, just trailing behind the legend himself, the top rookie of the season, uh, Jacob Nold, 
with 29,229. And lastly, uh, cruising through these top 10 teams, Portland and Eugene, number 10, Boston, nine, Columbus, eight, Denver, seven, Baltimore, six, Orange County, five, four, Houston. And then in this order, Omaha, number three, with 12,000, Kansas City, 14,545, and then Des Moines coming in at 15,347. You guys, what an amazing, amazing summer block. We are, we totally understand that a lot of you guys hit your goals. Some of you guys are still out, you know, hungry to hit them. The majority of the reps, if you're not going back to school, we encourage you guys to go do fall block, right? Instead of stay, sitting at home, not doing anything, you know, watching your savings and your earnings just uh, fly away, waste away, you guys go out and do fall. It's seven weeks, right? It's starting September, I wanna say it's starting September 17th, right? And what we ask from you there, it's seven weeks, right? It's a short, it's a short time to get out there and hit your goals. So it's actually the September 16th all the way through November 2nd. Get back in time for November, December. But yes, go out there and make it happen. Go hit your goals. If you're on pace for a golden, golden door, go do it. But everyone, amazing job this summer. We are so proud of every single one. I think feel like uh, ceilings were shattered, Grass, glass ceilings were shattered, and a lot of you guys uh, stepped up in a major way. We absolutely love you. We're excited to see what the rest of 2024 has to offer. As for this episode and as for this season of Grit in the Pit, we're out.